I brought a coffin. Hello, welcome back. Um, I'm not camping today, but I brought this. I brought a coffin from Team U. So I've not opened it, as you can tell. So I thought we could do it together. Put it up, bit of a first look, why I brought it, how much it was, etc. etc. So let's see what you get. You already know what it is from the thumbnail title of the video. So there we go. Pitching instructions. Lay the tent flat, penetrate the pole into the cap tube, insert the support. There we go, this is what you get. Do you know what, it's really light, it's sub one kilogram. I think it was 700 grams. And the reason I brought it, I mean the main reason, is uh, it's because of the price, to be honest. It flashed up on Team U. Um, have a little guess now where you think, how much you think it was, and I'll tell you at the end. So you get that over bag. Decent quality, to be fair. As with all this stuff from Team U, to be fair, it's all been pretty good quality. Um, so I guess let's get straight into it. Right, so we thought we'd try something cinematic and a real slow-mo and roll the tent out towards the camera. It didn't go very well. Um, I'll try and insert the clip now. It was only millisecond long, so it might not even have worked. No. <laughs> right, I'll show you in real time what actually happened. I was expecting the, the whole thing to roll out, you know, really cinematic. But in actual fact, this happened. This is what we went for. Yeah. Okay, so very lightweight, I assume aluminium poles, usual snappy into place. You get two of these, one obviously for the head end and one for the foot end. Should we peg the corners in? Let's see what pegs you get with this one. I'm not expecting much to be honest because you know what it's like, especially for the price. Yeah, standard. Well, these standard things, to be fair. And there's a couple of oh, guy lines in there as well. So, we'll put this thing together and then we'll bring it back. Supposedly. Right then, okay, we're all set up. We've got, how many pegs have we got? One, two, six, eight. So you get 10 pegs. I've only put it in with four for the time being. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. At the time of buying this, it seemed like a good idea. I'm stood here now thinking it wasn't a good idea. The reason I wanted it, like I say, is because it'd be low profile. Somewhere where there's no trees, so I can't hammock. You know, imagine this at the top of a nice, you know, a nice hill somewhere. Um, I haven't, oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do. I wasn't planning on these guide ropes out, but I think I'm going to have to because look at the foot box. I'm assuming if I guide that out, guide them out, which I'm going to have to do to be fair. So what we got? A little bit of ventilation. Okay, so our dimensions are, I will flash this on screen, dimensions are 220 centimeters. That is from the edge of the foot to the end, right at the end of here, where the, where Poppy is now. Um, and then 90 centimeters at its, at its furthest point here. Oh, I'm not looking forward to getting into here. So, a little bit about it. What's it say? Oh, here we go. So, bottle material, 210D Oxford cloth. 
It's supposed to have PU2000 external waterproof, but the bottom is PU3000. Uh, oh, 0.78 kilograms, including tent poles, ground pegs, wind, rope, peg bag, pole bag, and outer bag. And if you can't tell by now, yes, I am stalling getting into here. But I'm going to do it now. So we've got a fly, fly screen in there, as you'd expect. How the hell am I getting in there? I feel like it's better off crawling through the legs. It's just this way. Oh. Hello, you. Hello. Hello. You coming in? You coming in? Hang on a second. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm actually pleasantly surprised about the leg room, to be honest, because it was actually more than I was expecting. Uh, Oh, I'm really struggling with getting to grips with ventilation. Oh, the dog's here, look. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, he wants to come in. Come on, you. Come on, then. Come on, oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Hey, 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 hey. Right, there we go. So Poppy's Poppy's been in and gone. And she's made it all muddy in here. Thanks, Poppy. Right then, so a double zip on the outer. Double zip down from both sides, both sides. Uh, on the fly. Exactly the same. Little tiny bit of ventilation there. So <laughs> I guess. On a nice summer's evening, you could just leave this open, stargaze, and then uh, you haven't got the mozzies or the midges eating you. Couldn't do much in here. However, I wouldn't fancy getting out for a wee. So what do you reckon? 35 quid? Yeah. So, why did I actually buy it? So as I said before, I brought it because of going, like I say, stealthy. I mean, anyway, stealth, look how low profile it is. Yes, I've got the British Army, like, bivvy bag. Uh, you know, the material one, where you're just out in the open. Um, whereas that one, obviously I can zip the bugs, well, zip myself in, uh, just with the bug net, or obviously with the rain shooter as well. I mean, you just about see that, to be fair. So, yeah. Um, when I brought it, I bought it uh, about a week ago. It was 35, 35 UK pounds. Um, I've had a quick look earlier on. I think it's gone up to 50, 55, something like that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. But yeah, let me know in the comments uh, if you think it was worth 35 quid. If you think it's worth 55 quid. Um, let me know where you want to see me go with it. Let me see, let me know where you want to see me camp with it. Don't forget to subscribe. There we go then. So we just thought we'd try and do a bit of cinematic slow-mo of rolling the uh, rolling this sort of tent out towards the camera. Hang on. Oh, phone's ringing now. Hang on again.